people, my name is Rage, and welcome to Secret Ponchos. Let us find out if it is indeed worth the price. Now, this game is a twin-stick shooter based on the Wild West, all about high-action, high-skill, twitch shooting in a PvP environment, and it is really quite endearing. Now, it is in early access, so when asking worth the price, remember, I am asking if it's worth it in its current state, and if it's worth it for the potential that I see and there actually is quite a bit of potential here I'm looking forward to going into this for you guys so when you first load up the game you have to choose your character and you do this on the outlaw screen so if I pretend I'm creating a brand new character to play as you have to choose an archetype so we have the killer and each character has their own primary and secondary weapon which is very indicative of how they play but then they also have the stats that you you can see. So the killer, honestly, is quite a middling character. He's got a melee, he's got a revolver, which is short to medium range, and he's got fairly middle stats across the board, but he is quite good on the damage, and his revolver, as opposed to the kid's revolver, who is Kid Red over here, he has got a lot more range, even though they're using pistols. So that's what you got to think about when choosing who you like. Honestly, I went for who I think is kind of cool, which is why I chose the dual-wielding kid guy, who's probably the underdog. He's just some random kid who's got two pistols and he's like, I'm going to be a part of this because I got dynamite as well. Yeehaw! I'm getting into the spirit of Wild West. Shut up. So I like this guy as well because mechanically he's a fast, squishy, high damage character with fairly short range. Get in, kill, get out. And that suits my playstyle. You've got the deserter who is a big, slow, tanky guy. I mean, do you can tell by instantly looking at him what his role is going to be in the game. You've got fan Phantom Poncho, who's really cool, he's got a skull, and he has got various equipment like the Bullwhip, which is surprisingly quite effective. And then back to the killer. So yes, when you start the game, you select one of these characters. You can then edit their actual skill points. You start with two skill points, and you can put them in to the array of stats that you saw, and each time you level up, you get more stats. So for example, I am currently worth a bounty of 800. You gain a bounty via winning and doing well in a matches and each time you reach your next reputation threshold you can put more points into the stats as you can see I put one into damage and one into speed so that's how everything works on the surface and how the character customization is in its current iteration the online shop is not actually a part of the game yet so I cannot comment on how that will function so all there is to do really is actually play so to begin with I'm going to go on single player so I can show you how everything actually works because as I said this is a very high paced fast game and trying to tell you informational stuff while being like oh god oh god kill him oh god teammate ah oh, it doesn't really work so that's why I'm going to set it to practice for now so here we are about to start a single player practice match I should mention at this point that the game is only controllable in its current state with a controller as you can see that's how everything uh, functions and it all is actually rather the smooth the controls while initially looking pretty confusing on that screen at least to me because I'm not used to gaming with a controller I pick them up fairly quickly and they are quite intuitive as this is a twin stick shooter you move around with the left one and aim with the right one hence the name of the genre you can shoot in the direction that you are facing switch to your alternate weapon if I throw the dynamite over there we have a, an amount of dash charges as you can see they're going down at the bottom left and we can get down behind cover if we go close enough to it. The cover system, honestly, I haven't found myself using that much, but I've only done a couple online matches and my opponents have been fairly bad. Oh god, run! <laughs> As I'm calling my opponents bad, I throw dynamite at myself. I mean, really, what can I say at this point? Oh, that is... That is slightly awkward, yes, indeed. And then, obviously, you can reload your weapons. So, that is generally how everything works, yes, indeed. And you can, obviously, put your weapon away or keep it out. When you are aiming, you will go a lot slower. But if you stop aiming, you start going a lot faster, basic stuff. So, if I actually go over to someone and start firing away, as you can see, my character is quite squishy.
squishy, but that did take all of my bullets. So at this point, I wanna really wanna talk about the art style in this game because I really do love it. It's got that sort of colorful, but kind of muted, washed out pastel style that Dishonored employs, and I think it looks really good. It suits the Wild West aesthetic. You can see what's going on. The characters are more colorful, the environments, you never misplace where they are. The levels are actually laid out fairly well. There's currently three levels in the game. This graveyard, a saloon, and one that I cannot recall off the top of my head, and everything feels fairly balanced and well-rounded from the gameplay that I have. I have to say, the visuals adding to the mechanics in this game are really effective. They complement each other a lot. Much like Dota, that Dota has achieved the miracle thing of having lots of complicated spell effects happening at once, yet you can always tell what is happening on screen, this game has managed to achieve that same fate. Obviously, it's simpler in terms of the fighting that's going on, but it is still a very, very nice to see, and almost a requirement for a good multiplayer experience. I want to be able to see exactly what's going on in the battlefield so I can react accordingly. And, yeah, that's generally how things are going to work. I just want you to get an understanding for what I'm going to be doing when I jump in and fight players, because obviously I'm going to be concentrating on kicking their western asses, yes, indeed. The music as well is really nice. It's not crazy like, whoa, but it really suits and it's fun to listen to. It also gets quite intense in actual battle. So, that is just a quick run round so you can see what you're doing, and even the menu screens from loading, the character selection when they were walking forward, this where you can see the outlaw that you've chosen, working with his guns, what happens when a game actually ends. The whole game is already really quite polished in its presentation at this early stage, which I think is very admirable indeed. It feels feels right. It feels kind of like, yeah, this is a good, this is a good proper game that I'm playing instead of some early accesses which feel like maybe they're a little bit too early to actually be on early access. So I have to say, I'm heartily impressed with this game so far. Even the characters themselves, even though they don't speak, have personality that you can see, especially on the selection screen where you chose them. It's got the progression systems in leveling up and thematically the bounty, everything is thematically tied together which is very important, as I said, like for example in my Watch Dogs video, the fact that hacking runs central through everything, very much the rest and theme runs central for everything in this. But it is a simple game, so that is easy to achieve, but it is obviously very nice to see. It's a very solid game that's exploiting a very fun core mechanic of Twin Strix Shooter, and it's doing it very well, and I have to say, I am rather impressed. So I'm going to jump cut now to actually getting in a game with real people, because there's not a lot of people playing at the moment, and you can see the game in proper action. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. It is a team of two red kids versus two killers. This is going to be quite an interesting match. And here on this screen, we can see again why I love the presentation of this game and the charming style it's gone for. This versus screen is really cool, especially when you get a nice array of characters. So here we are fighting in the graveyard. Unfortunately, I would have preferred it to be a different map. But even this crow, you see what I mean? Everything screams well done, polished, thematically tied in, and I just can't, cannot, cannot wax lyrical enough about how much I appreciate that. So, the enemies are over there. I'm going to switch to dynamite and create a bit of space. Yes, indeed. If we start firing on him, gotta keep reloaded as the kid, as his bullets are very easy to go through. And we can gang up on this guy. Yes, indeed, start reloading. But I'm going to cover my guy with some dynamite. Yes, indeed. Make it a little bit less easy for them to move around. Oh, they got him. That is unfortunate. Yes, indeed. If I finish him off, there we go. Yes, and uh, if, if I say yes indeed one more time, you have my permission to slap me. It's just so much more satisfying to be like, I killed you. Yes, I killed you. And if we throw dynamite over there, what I'm hoping will happen is yes in <laughs> Damn it, I did it again. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's like I'm just trapped on a yes indeed train. Someone let me off. I was just quite proud of that move, I have to say. All right, let's see if we can't chase him down. Yes, in <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop it. I actually can't stop it. I'm so sorry. You must be hearing that and thinking, if you say that one more time, I am closing this video. And I do not blame you. Okay, let's create more space with the dynamite and see if we can't finish him off. We can. His friend is not doing as bad. My teammate, to be fair, is not doing that much. And this game mode is basically first to five kills. That's how you need to look at it. 
Okay, let's create a little bit more space over there. Try and get away from him. Let my teammate do some work as he was supposed to be the non-injured one, but apparently, uh, apparently that's not actually happened. Where is he? Oh, well played by him. He got me even though he was on a tiny amount of health. But I've still done pretty okay so far. But we are not doing well on the whole. Uh, it's basically a tug of war backwards and forth. But if you get five kills and no deaths, then you win straight away. So you can work it out from there how it actually goes down. So let's finish him off. There we go. Switch to that. Cut off his escape route. He's going to go the other way, which makes sense. The dynamite is very tactical. In fact, all of the secondary weapons in the game are strictly there to create tactics, whereas your primary weapon is the you're in range, fuck them up type weapon. So if I throw that over there, switch back to that, he has no choice but to go in this direction, which is exactly what I want him to do. All right, let's go around there. Don't shoot me, ally. Don't shoot me. Okay, that's not good. All right, so he's back over there. Boom, boom. Kill him as well. Oh, he is very injured. There we go. We got him. We got him. And then you, sir, are also in need of death. Ah, no, I'm... There we go. There we go. We did it. We did it, guys. We did it. We are slowly winning. Yes, indeed. When the timer runs out, the team who is further along there took of war will be the winner. Let's switch to my dynamite, cover an explosion over there, and see if we can't... Oh! Oh, no! No, I was the final kill! Damn it! <laughs> I love this when a game ends, ladies and gentlemen. You slowly fall to the ground and like, no, if you were the killer. And then it shows you the camera of the actual person who got the final kill. And they're getting all suave. That was a little bit of a bug there. But I went 5-2 to two in that, which was pretty good. Yay, we did actually win. Fantastic. I'm quite happy with my performance in that. And I'm going to level up, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see how that system works. I'm going to go from a... From a random criminal to a thug. Yes, there we go. Secret Ponchos is surprisingly very competent, I have to say, guys. I, yeah, would heartily recommend it. If you like these types of games, the shooter aspect of this, you're really going to enjoy it. There's not much that's wrong with this game. It's got the strategic depth, but at the same time, it's got the overarching just gun them down aspect to it, and... I can't really say that much wrong with this game. I mean, it does help that there's not many features in yet, so there's not enough things for me to potentially criticise, but then that's kind of a superficial criticism to make in the first place. Put more stuff in that might be bad, so I can say it's bad. I will try and get in one more game for you, ladies and gentlemen, so you can see maybe a different map and a different combination of characters and how that plays out on screen, so I will jump cut to that happening. Here we are once again, and we are going to be facing the Ghost Punch show which I haven't actually faced before in games. So I'm going to be very interested to see how he actually plays out. I want to know what he looks like on this screen as well. Ah, oh, he's such a badass. He's basically like a skeleton Reaper Poncho man. Unfortunately, we are in the graveyard again. I do apologize about that, but the damn randomness seems not so random. And you can also have friends in this game and queue up together, which lets you have a specific character combos for you to pull off, which is another element that you do have going for in this game. So you can have actually structured PvP, especially if there's like four of you and you want to settle some differences in a 2v2. Alright, use that opportunity to finish him off. He looks pretty damn powerful, actually. He's got quite the dash, and I don't want to be on the tail end of that spread shotgun blast. I imagine it will be reasonably damaging. Yes, indeed, as we can see there. Reload some more. Actually going to create some space behind him, and he's going to go in the other direction. Reload again. That is the one drawback to the kid. He uh, has a very, very low amount of actual bullets. Yes, in. Oh, no way! One direct hit and I got cleaved. I was having such a fun little dance with that, him. I cannot tell you how awesomely intense that was. That was really, really good fun. I, the, the more I play this game, the more I get into it. It's severely addicting. Wow, I don't know what he just did to me, but it wrecked me. There we go. Wait, what? He got me? No way did he get me there. That is ridiculous. Go, go, go. Oh my god, the amount of damage he just did to me is somewhat insane. Oh, I'm dead, but I'm going to get... Oh, the dynamite just missed. I'm getting slaughtered in this round. I thought I was pretty good at this game, but this guy who's playing the dead poncho is really quite something. 
Okay, I'm gonna death. I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna. Oh my god, that knockback is. Jesus Christ! How is he doing that? That was it. They got us. They tore us apart. They got enough kills that it ended early. I did shocking in that game, I have to say. And that, honestly, I'm glad that happened. That's a good example of just how much difference your skill as a player matters. This guy by himself probably would have taken us. He took us apart. Although Final Reckoning apparently is the world's best kill stealer. So yes, I cannot really complain. They definitely outplayed us there, which is a good feeling. A satisfying loss is rare in games. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Secret Ponchos. Early access on Steam, reasonably cheap at the moment because of the summer sale. Really good fun twin stick shooter with a really nice theme and everything just feels like it works. It's well done. It's polished. And that is a really nice thing from a game at this early stage stage. So, my name has been Rage. Remember to like this if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more. Oh, good boy.